Hi everyone, John Davenport here with another Let's Edit video. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I recently had a question uh, in one of my videos about the clone tool in Lightroom, so we're going to look at that today. As you can see in this photograph, there's a German Shepherd, which is kind of just in the way, um, so we're, we're going to kind of remove them. Uh, before I get started, I'm just going to show you a bit about the clone tool. It's this icon right here, um, and inside once you open up this tool, inside you'll have a clone and a heal option. And I'll explain the difference really quickly uh, for those that don't know. So to use the tool, you just click and two circles will be created. One where you clicked and another somewhere around where you clicked. Both of these circles are movable. And you can also click and drag and the second circle will appear wherever you let go. Uh, what these two circles do is the first circle is basically what you're trying to remove. And the second circle that's created is what's going to fill this first circle uh, with. So basically, here we have you know this circle out in the kind of foresty area here, and we're filling it with this bark mulch. It obviously looks completely incorrect, but um, for the sake of the video, we're just going to show you uh, the difference here between some of these settings. So you have your size setting, which is pretty obvious. You can make it bigger or smaller. And then you have an opacity setting, which will then make uh, your top circle here, which is what you're trying to get rid of. It'll change the um, transparency of that. So if you're trying to do something kind of creative and you want to, um, you know, have a smaller opacity, um, you can you can definitely do that. Now the difference between the clone tool and the heal tool is uh, pretty subtle, but uh, very dramatic at the same time. When you click the heal tool, you'll notice that it actually takes into account the colors that are around this uh, circle that you're trying to fill and kind of blends it with that. So it's a you know it's more for getting rid of um, things in the area that you want to kind of blend down. Um, I use the clone tool most of the time, the heal tool on occasion, but um, most of the time I'm using the clone tool. So anyway, let's get started here. We'll um, go back to our clone tool and we're just going to really quickly go through how I would go about removing this German Shepherd. Now, I'm going to do this really quickly because um, a cloning can be kind of a tedious process and I personally really don't like to clone, um, especially, you know, large things like this where it really takes time. But uh, I'm going to go through really quickly and show you kind of just the gist of what I'm going to do here. So the first step that I would do is kind of rough out and get the bulk of what I'm trying to remove done. As you can see, the German Shepherd was kind of hidden behind Riley here. So we're going to have to make sure that we do this border between the two dogs very carefully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and go back to my clone tool and get a really small brush now something you know just big enough to cover what I'm trying to remove and go through really kind of carefully now as you'll notice there's a little spot here that I need to remove but I can't actually click on it because um, there's already a circle that covers that so I'll have to click off of that circle and then place it down here drag it down and there we go Okay, so now we're going to go up here and do the rest of this. It's, uh, again, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've already had some experience with cloning, you probably uh, don't need to watch this whole video, but um, it's definitely uh, something that can uh, be useful to know. And it's really, I, I'm actually, the more I've started to do. Lightroom editing because um, you know I started this uh, series here, this Let's Edit series, and I wanted to do exclusively Lightroom editing at least to start with. And um, because I've relied on other software to do some of these things, it's really kind of put me in a spot where I've had to, you know, see what Lightroom is actually capable of. And uh, I've been actually pleasantly surprised with some of the tools that. Lightroom has to offer. So uh, I'm happy to say that their cloning option is actually pretty good and uh, you can do a lot with it. So 
as you can see, it, it was a really quick and rough edit, but um, the German Shepherd is definitely gone. Now, to finish this uh, photograph up, what I would probably do is just come in and, you know, give it a little bit of a more personal and uh, more interesting composition. I might go in and, uh, you know, ch drop the exposure just a little bit here, maybe add a little bit of contrast. Uh, see what the highlights do. You know, I would do kind of the similar edits that I normally uh, normally do, but it doesn't look like it needs really anything fancy. Um, it doesn't need any adjustment brushes or anything like that. Uh, so, you know, that's basically it for, for this video. I mean, this video is basically all about the cloning tool. I hope you learned something. If you did, please click the like button below, and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first visit to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next week with another Let's Edit video. Bye for now.